Jina langu ni Said Yakubu naibu katibu mkuu wa Wizara ya Utamaduni, Sanaa na Michezo na niko na Kurugenzi msaidizi katika wizara yetu Dr. Renata Msam Nata e, ambaye tuko naye na niko na wageni ambao wanatoka Afrika Kusini pamoja na ubalozi wa Afrika Kusini hapa Tanzania e, nitawatambulisha sio muda mrefu na pia kutakuwa na maelezo ya awali na baada ya hapo tutamkaribisha mgeni wetu ambaye tuko naye ili naye aweze kuzungumza machache naibu waziri wa Wizara ya Michezo, Sanaa na Utamaduni wa Jamhuri ya Afrika Kusini ambaye yuko nasi lakini pia upande wa kulia kwake tunaye mheshimiwa balozi Nolutando Malepe ambaye ndio balozi wa Afrika Kusini hapo hapa Tanzania lakini pia tunaye Mr Rufus Matibe who is the director katika eh, Wizara ya michezo sanaa na utamaduni. Wageni wetu hawa eh, hasa mheshimiwa naibu waziri wamekuja katika kile kinachoitwa msimu wa utamaduni wa Afrika Kusini. Wana utamaduni ambao ni kama jukwaa la kuonesha vipaji vya sanaa na utamaduni duniani, kukuza ushirikiano wa kikanda, kuimarisha ushirikiano uliopo baina ya Tanzania na Afrika Kusini na kuunga mkono juhudi za kupanua biashara ya bidhaa na huduma za kiutamaduni. Watatembelea katika mikoa ya Morogoro, Dar es Salaam, hapa wanatoka matulipo, lakini pia watakwenda upande wa Zanzibar. Katika msimu huu wa utamaduni wa Afrika ya Kusini, watafanya mkutano na waandishi wa habari ambao ndio huku tunafanya, lakini leo jioni kuna tamasha kabambe ambalo litaonyesha utamaduni wa Afrika Kusini ambalo litafanyika Mlimani City kuanzia saa kumi jioni kwa hiyo tunawakaribisheni lakini pia kutakuwa na mhadhara kwa umma kuhusu mchango wa Tanzania katika eh, mchango wa utama, eh, kutakuwa na mchango wa Tanzania katika ukombozi wa Afrika Kusini the contribution of Tanzania in South African liberation ambao utafanyika tarehe 19 katika ukumbi wa Mandela Freedom Square kwenye chuo kikuu cha Sokoine eh, campus ya Solomon Mahlangu Mazimbu Morogoro na pia kutakuwa na ziara ya kutembelea maeneo ya kihistoria ambayo yana uhusiano baina ya Tanzania na Afrika ya Kusini ambayo ya maeneo hayo yapo wilaya ya Kinondoni Dar es Salaam pamoja na Kongwa eh, katika mji mkuu Dodoma na vile vile watafanya wakiwa Dodoma watafanya tena mkutano na waandishi wa habari na baada ya hapo kutakuwa na ufunguzi wa tamasha na maonesho ya filamu za Afrika Kusini ambayo utafanyia pale kwenye makumbusho ya taifa na baada ya hapo pia tutakuwa na seminar ya biashara ya kazi za sanaa Business Arts Breakfast Seminar ambayo tutaifanyia hapa Dar es Salaam eneo la makumbusho tarehe tatu lakini pia kutakuwa na uzinduzi wa picha ambazo zimechorwa zenye ujumbe wa historia ya ukombozi wa Afrika katika jengo ambalo liliwahi kutumiwa na kamati ya ukombozi wa Afrika iko karibu yetu hapa lakini pia kutakuwa na tamasha la ngoma za asili za Tanzania na Afrika Kusini ambazo zitafanyika katika makumbusho ya taifa hiyo ni tarehe tano lakini kama nilivyosema watakwenda pia Zanzibar ambapo ndio watafunga rasmi kwa tamasha kubwa kabisa la aina yake pale katika eneo la Ngome Kongwe Zanzibar tarehe saba lakini pia siku hiyo hiyo watakuwa E, kutaku, lakini baada ya hapo watarudi hapa na kutakuwa na maonesho ya mitindo ya mavazi ya Afrika Kusini ambayo itaambatana na mitindo ya mavazi ya Mswahili katika hoteli ya Horomo hapa hapa Dar es Salaam. Asante sana <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, good morning. Uh, good to see so many contingents of the media here. Uh, good morning to the program director. Uh, the honorable Ms. Pauline Gakul, Deputy Minister of Arts, Culture and Sport, who is my counterpart. Let me first explain my name. I know that uh, uh, when I was introduced, it was said my name is Nolawe Mafu, uh, the Deputy Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture. My name is no Tawe. Ta, 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 tawe. <laughs> uh, that means I, I was born on a Sunday. 
Uh, it is a great honor to be here today in this great country we call our second home as South Africans. The country of Mualim Jurias Nyerere, one of the founding fathers of Africa's liberation. I'm honored to be representing my country, South Africa, and my department, the Department of Sport, Arts and Culture, a department responsible to preserve, develop, protect, and promote cultural heritage, linguistic, diversity, and legacy of South Africa. It is even a bigger honor, ladies and gentlemen, because today we are launching the long-awaited South African cultural season in Tanzania. South Africa and Tanzania shares a warm and cordial relationship which dates back during the South African struggles for independence from the evil oppressive apartheid. Tanzania provided a safe haven and resources to the African National Congress, freedom fighters, when it was not fashionable to do so. And it came at a great cost to the people and government of Tanzania. We owe you a great deal. And let me take this opportunity to thank you very much for that sacrifice. A program that, amongst other things, seeks to foster people-to-people -people conduct and open doors for economic opportunities for the creative industries between the two countries. Furthermore, Cultural Seasons is an initiative of the South African government aimed at showcasing South Africa's artistic and cultural talents promoting regional integration, strengthening bilateral relations, and supporting efforts towards expanded trade of our cultural goods and services. South Africa cultural season in Tanzania is taking place in a very competitive environment, as many countries are seeking partners to strengthen their economic recovery following the COVID-19 pandemic. We all know what COVID-19 has done, and we also understand what, therefore, is, to, is happening in many countries to reignite their economies. We hope, therefore, that the South African government presentation during the cultural season will be able to design as the response to South African recovery plan, also to the Tanzanian recovery <coughs> plan, and in particular, sector participation of emerging artists Taking up the international platforms is viewed as a positive story to tell and in turn, upliftment to the country and the economy. Here in Tanzania, we'll be focused on establishing new markets for creative sectors, building partnerships based on mutual benefits and promoting people-to-people -people conduct. It is a journey we are ready to take with you the people of Tanzania, through various trade lanes, even beyond this particular program lifespan. Please do visit and participate in variety of events spread across the width and breadth of Tanzania, from Dodoma to Morogoro, and from Da to Zanzibar, and indulge in unique and authentic South African cultural experiences. Asante. Thank you. Yeah, well. Lakini pia kupitia maonesho ya kazi hizi za sanaa, utamaduni na ubunifu, wasanii wetu na wenyewe pia watapata fursa ya kuzionesha na kuuza baadhi ya kazi zao za mkono, lakini pia tunaimarisha ushirikiano wa sekta zetu za utamaduni, sanaa na michezo kati yetu na Afrika ya Kusini, na hii ni sehemu ya utekelezaji wa mkataba wa ushirikiano katika sekta ya utamaduni ambao lisainiwa mwaka 2011. Msimu huo utamaduni wa Afrika Kusini hapa Tanzania utafungua madirisha ya uwekezaji na biashara katika maeneo ya sekta za utamaduni, sanaa na michezo. Lakini pia mnakumbuka katika sehemu ya ushirikiano wetu na Afrika Kusini we, uh, we have signed an MOU of training Kiswahili in South African uh, education institutions. For well, this is part and parcel of the bigger picture of collaboration between Tanzania 
and in South Africa. We are bringing a contingent of musicians, but what we have tried to do is to make sure that we bring all the genres. So there, there is my, I'm a piano, you will find them. I know uh, Tanzanians like to dance, and there is what is called as warm music. Busiswa, the artist, will be here. But there's also a, a very popular artist in South Africa at this point in time from the province of Limpompo, known as Makazi. Makazi is also coming. But the most of them, unfortunately, will be performing in, in Zanzibar because there is a concert that we will be hosting in Zanzibar on the 27th.